so I've just finished work. Now, customers and double standards, what's with that? So now where I work, there's a front bar and a bistro. Now in the front bar, it's all counter service. So you go up to the, you go up to the bar and you purchase your meal, your drinks, everything over the counter. Whereas down in the bistro, it's all table service. So you sit your ass down and you relax. We come to your table and take your orders for food, drinks, everything. But yet we'll still get people that will come up to the bar downstairs, which I can understand why they would because it is a pub. And they'll be like, oh, can I get a, can I get a drink here, mate? And so you'll be like, oh, no, sir, you know, ma'am, if she's got a very manly sounding voice, um, take a seat, we'll come to your table, take your orders. Now, these people crack the shit because they can't go to the bar and order their drink. Oh, what fucking bullshit is this? I want to fucking order a drink now, mate. It's like, well, hang on, no, just go to your table, we'll take your order, you can pay for what you had at the very end. Because I don't get it. People think that, you know, if they go to the table and they take the orders at the table, they've got to use the one bill. No. In this place, you can separate the bill. No dramas at all. So it's pretty much the same thing, just coming at the one time. Now, I've never met, I don't understand why people get upset about, you know, um, being served at the table. Who the fuck wouldn't want to sit down and have somebody come to you and do everything for you? But no, these people get upset because they actually don't want that. And they want to go up to the bar and order the drinks. Anyway, some people will say, oh, well, fucking, they should fucking pay as they go. You know, fucking, yeah, right. Eh? But we do have that option. They can go to the front bar and do that. But anyway, regardless of that. Now, the thing I want to know is, if you went to a, if these people went to a fine dining restaurant, okay, let's not go to the extreme where it's, you know, Michelin star, three chef hat, whatever the hell it's called. You know, let's not go to that extreme. Let's say a really nice fine dining restaurant. Would you go, Would they go up to the bar then and go, oh, yeah, right, give us a fucking drink, mate? No, they wouldn't because they know that it's all table service. They know that. So if it's all table service where we are, what the fuck is the difference? You know, still, it's the same thing. Table service will come to your table. I mean, I, know, I understand. At different pubs, they allow that, okay? I get it. 100%. I understand. But when you get told, go sit down, relax, we'll come to your table... Don't bloody get upset. But, yeah, it's just... Well, just I just want to... I just don't understand. Is that, like, you know, when seating somebody as well, okay? If you go to, like, a fine dining restaurant and you're told that you're in that table there... Sorry, you're told that you're on that table there. People don't complain. Oh, okay, I'm, I'm sitting there. But for some reason in pubs, customers think they're in the friggin' joint. Oh, no, I don't want that table. I want to sit over there. Okay, you know, sometimes there's a reason to why we seat people in certain spots, okay? Depending on staffing levels, you know, if you can keep, if you can keep people contained in an area, then service is faster, people are happier, you know, it's just, it's just better all around. But no, people then like to complain and, you know, I own the fucking place. That's what they act like. So, but would they do that in a fine dining restaurant no they wouldn't so why do it in a pub i get it it's not as formal i get it 100 percent. but come on people just follow the rules it's not hard it makes everybody's life so much fucking easier you get better service you get happier staff it's just a win-win for everyone who doesn't want to win but anyway what are you gonna do the hospitality diaries